Good evening, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Clean sweep on the radar, looking dry all night with skies fair now. Going to turn partly cloudy, though, a little bit later tonight. The satellite and radar composite showing that we still have a few showers along the Great Lakes states, even a few showers, say, towards the Mississippi River Valley. We're going to have this disturbance to the north and to the west of us and move over head force tomorrow. What that is going to do is provide us a chance for a few showers. Nothing more than that. Chance for rain tomorrow, 20 to 30 percent, which means more of us stay dry than get wet. Future tracker showing that overnight tonight. Again, those clouds will be on the increase, especially after about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Then on Tuesday, we're starting out dry with skies partly sunny. Then as we head into the afternoon, I cannot rule out the chance for a few showers. Chance again, 20 or 30 percent, not a big chance by any means. And right now I'm thinking that the best chance for these few showers will likely be into the mountains with a lesser chance the farther east you go. But again, overall, if you do get wet tomorrow, um, consider yourself kind of unlucky because the vast majority of us will stay dry. I guess if you need the rain, you'll be considered lucky. Then as we head into Wednesday, we are looking at a bright start to the day, looking to start the day mostly sunny, and we're looking at a lot of sunshine pretty much all day long on Wednesday. So Wednesday looks dry and Wednesday we'll see more sunshine than what we're going to have out there for the day tomorrow. So while we're quiet here, it has not been quiet in the tropics. We have had a few named storms in the Atlantic Basin. We've had a few named storms in the Pacific Basin. We're watching Hurricane Dora right now off the coastline of Mexico. Uh, here's Cabo San Lucas right there. So it is south of Cabo San Lucas in the track from the hurricane center has this thing actually staying offshore, staying away from Mexico. It's a category one hurricane will eventually uh, become a tropical storm and then by late this week it will probably just turn into a remnant low. But uh, again, here's Cabo San Lucas right there and here is the track of the storm staying to the south of uh, that little tip in Mexico. Temperatures right now 55 in Hot Springs, 65 in Withville, it's 63 in Lynchburg, 62 at this hour in Martinsville. It is incredibly comfortable outside. Comfortable temperatures, low humidity. Now, the reason we're going to stay below normal over the next couple of days temperature wise is because there's a big dip in the jet stream. This dip in the jet stream is allowing the cooler air to filter in from Canada. And as long as we continue to have that cooler air coming in from Canada, temperatures are going to stay below normal. But <laughs> there's always a but when it comes to the cool air at this time of year. Hot air is not that far behind. OK, so as soon as this uh, jet stream flattens and we're looking for that to happen by late week, uh, we're going to see this pumping in of more warmth and humidity probably by Thursday and Friday. And then by the weekend, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable again. The dew points right now are in the 40s and 50s to near 60 overall for what are we talking about? Late June, these dew points. Absolutely perfect. It was a great day to be outside today. Dew points are going to stay pretty low here as we head into Tuesday, even as we head into Wednesday. Now, as we head into Thursday, especially by Friday, the muggies are going to be on the increase and it's going to feel a little more like late June by late week, especially in this upcoming weekend. So for tonight, stars and clouds overnight lows right around 57 degrees. Overall, not a bad night out there at all. Maybe a night where you actually turn off your AC and let Mother Nature cool you down, save money on that energy bill. Then for the day tomorrow, looking at highs in the middle 70s. Again, a few showers are possible, especially in the afternoon. But again, it doesn't look like uh, many of us are going to get wet with your three degree guarantee high on Tuesday, 76. Now your extended forecast showing highs in the lower 80s on Wednesday, upper 80s on Thursday and Friday, mid to upper 80s Saturday, Sunday and Monday. We're dry on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday by Friday, we could have some spotty thunder showers developing during the heating of the day with scattered showers and thunderstorms returning Saturday, Sunday into Monday. I know it's a holiday weekend coming up. Don't be too concerned with the weather right now. It looks like we'll just have those typical hit or miss thunder showers developing during the heating of the day. Today we forecast 80 actual high 82, $10 in the pot, $600 so far raised for turning point. That's a good total.